Hi, and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we are expected to draw the development of a solid shape to a square round top using the tri triangulation method. So the first thing is to draw the given object in the given view. That's the plan and the front elevation. So in drawing the plan, we we'll follow the given dimension. So the first set of things is to follow this, then draw the central line from this from the middle. So after doing that, we have our front elevation and the plan. So the plan is the topmost one and the front elevation is the one below. So following that, the circle at the top, we're going to divide it into 12 equal parts. So after dividing into the 12 equal parts, the aim is for it when we are expanding or developing the object, we can be able to divide it into the various segments because we have the same at the point A. So now we're going to start at this point, the development. So we need to label each of these division 0, 1, 2, 3 repeatedly so that we can be able to get the required development. And we'll also label the edges E, B, C, D, E. So now at the point E, we draw a perpendicular line down to the front elevation, the base of the front elevation so that it will help us in our construction since our seam is coming from A. So now opening the object at AO will draw imaginary lines radiating from the top which is circular to the edge which is at B, C, D, E. So now the point where the point where the it is radiated from the circle you can see that 3 and 0 coincide and 1 and 2 also coincide so from the center of our compass at E then the radius to touch 2 and 1 will radiate touch the base of the plan then from there we we'll project the line to the base of the front elevation so after doing that we can now start the required development so now after doing this where the line for one and two meet or connect to the point f and also the point zero and three connect to the point f the aim is to get the true length of the object when we are developing it the true length of the object so since we'll be using this length repeatedly we're going to measure it and write it down so that's the distance f1 f2 then the distance f0 f3 so f1 f2 is 63 millimeters f0 f3 is 68 millimeters so we need to take note of this measurement so the next set of things is to start the development using the triangulation method. So we'll mark a point and which is the starting point, which is A. Then now to get the true length from the seam at A to O, we can't be able to get it unless we come to the point A, B, E to get that. So now the first thing is to start with the distance A, B. So after measuring the distance A, B will describe the point then connect the line so which will give us a b at this point so now to get the distance a o will take it from the front elevation which will give us the true length so from this point a to this angular point it will give us the point a o so we describe at this point so we still don't know the exact point for o we take the point OB, which is the true length, will be FO, which is 68 millimeters. So at the point B, we describe with the center of the compass over there, then we we'll describe the point where it meets the initial arc we describe, we'll get our point O. 
So we'll connect the line AO A0 and B0 so that it will give us the required triangle, the first triangle which we will need to get our development. So after getting this, we now move to get the distance um, B1. So B1, the distance is 63 millimeters. So in the center as B will describe up there, then now the distance between each of the divisions of the circle is 12.5 millimeters, which will help us in the construction. So now from 0 to 1, the distance is 12.5. So with that, we'll describe to get the point 1. Then we'll connect the line from B to 1 to give us B1. So we'll repeat the same process for 2 to get the distance B2. The distance is 63 millimeters. So we'll describe with the center at B. Then we'll describe somewhere above it. Then with the distance between 1 and 2, which is 12.5 millimeters, we'll mark. So we'll now get the new point 2. That's the line B2 connect the line B2. So to get the the line B3, the distance between the true length of B3 is 68 millimeters. So with the center at B, we describe a point close to 2, then the distance between 2 and 3 is 12.5. So we're now describing to form the point 3, which will give us the line B3. So the first set of the area of our triangle that we need to get for our development for this section it has been obtained. So the, to get the next part, which is BC, we measure the length of BC. So we'll describe somewhere around this side, which is the distance BC. Now, the next thing we could see the line C3. So it means the distance, the true length of a C3 is 68 meter. Now the center at 3 will describe the arc. So now it will meet the initial arc that we made. So now we get the point C. So connect the line from B and to get C. Then from 3 also it will meet. So we now have the triangle BC3. So, which is a new sector. So, now move to start the first point. The distance uh, C2 is 63 millimeters. So, we describe a point there. Then, distance between 3 and 2 is 12.5 millimeters. So, where they meet, we'll get the point 2 and connect the line C2. So after doing that, we'll also repeat for 1 and 4, that's C1 and C0. So we'll repeat the same process for all through we we'll get this. So now we've gotten all the required points for our development. Which you obtain from this. The last point for the O for A is the same way we started it. So now, if you notice it, the the arc that is obtained in this development is the same thing as a circle. So we get a midpoint. So we use our compass, not French curve, to get the arc. So which is a very smooth arc. So after doing that, we we'll get that point, which is required. So here is the required development of the square to round top using triangulation method. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.